Uh, morning. Uh, one of the products that we have at the Cartoon Company is uh, these little tachymetric relays. Some of the computers don't have a successful fuel pump output, so we need some other way of controlling it. I just thought I'd set up a science experiment on my table here. So I've got my got a coil tester set up over there that makes sparks when I want it to make sparks. Uh, I've got my power pack, so we've got some voltage. Uh, we'll just turn that on to start with, so we've got power fired up. So of this little unit, there's, there's several different applications for it. If you're using an optical or a digital or an inductive type pickup, then you'll connect this green wire. In this case, we're not, so we've got it just taped off. And the purple wire, if you're using a Hall effect, you'll you'll need that purple wire connected. In this case, we're not going to use them. So what we've done, we've connected 12 volts. So that goes to a, a good clean ignition source. So you want the tachymetric relay to turn off when you turn the key off. And we've connected the black wire to earth. Now the the orange wire and the yellow wire are connected once the relay activates. So I'm making the 12, uh, making the orange wire be the input. In this case, I've connected it to earth. So if you connect the orange wire to earth when the relay activates, the yellow wire will be in earth. Or if you connect it to power, then it will be power. Um, these are good for about 10 amps. So if you're running a carburetor fuel pump, that'll work perfectly. And you just connect it to a, a coil negative. Uh, in this case, I normally recommend if you're running an EFI fuel pump to put it through a relay. So in this case, we haven't got a relay connected up, but I've got a test light. So the test light is connected and the other end of the test light is connected to power. So once it gets an earth, uh, that will work. So the blue wire is our trigger wire. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm, uh, I've got a, I got a, another test light, just an LED test light. And if I just touch that wire, I'll bring back here and I'll try and hit it, it should turn that on. And if I keep doing it, it'll keep going. Okay, so I can do it straight onto here too. I can just go straight onto, the, onto a power source. And you can see me just tapping it on and off there. And the relay stays activated. So that works just lovely. Okay, so when we're connecting it up, You've already got all your electronics for the for the injection working, and you've got the igniter. Off the igniter, there is the the output wire, which is external. So you've got on here, you've got a feed feedback wire, you've got a trigger wire, and they're listed underneath. Uh, you've got a, a B plus, you've got your external EXT, which is your taco output, and you've got your coil output. So I've connected it into the EXT, which is the one that would normally run the taco. I'm going to take that and I'm going to connect that onto my blue wire, like such. It'll just fire up for a second. And then I'm going to fire up the coil tester and we'll make some uh, sparks. So I've just got to put the earth on here and you'll hear the spark go and you'll see the, the light turn on. Just like that. Okay, so as soon as you start cranking it, it starts making sparks, it turns that relay on and the fuel pump will go. Do it again. So that's a, a bit of a run through. Uh, normally the wiring's a bit neater, but for the Cyrix experiment, that'll give what we need to do. I was in a bit of a hurry and uh, a customer wanted to, to see it. So just to, to recap, red, 12 volt, black, earth, orange, whether you want an input or an output to be positive or negative. Uh, the yellow wire is the output. Again, depends on how you connect your, your orange wire. And blue is your trigger. Uh, really simple, real quick, and it works just lovely. So uh, if you're running more than 10 amps or close to 10 amps, I definitely recommend using that to trigger a relay. Uh, if not, you like carburetor fuel pump, as I said, uh, you can run straight. Just use that tachymetric relay to do the job. Hey, hope that's helpful.